what is going on my fine my divine ass feminine it is scorpion reds tarot i am back at it one more again yes indeed to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of june 2019 thank you guys so much for clicking this video shout out to all my new subscribers thank you guys so much for liking and sharing and subscribing to my channel thank you guys for all of the support um as you guys know that you guys have been seeing in the monthlies um i announced that i do have a patreon now i don't want um i do have a few people that did subscribe shout out to everyone that did um subscribe over there to the patreon i will be having that up and running by next week um and i'm gonna be tinkering around so y'all gonna be seeing me running some tests and stuff like that to try to get everything up and running so um um, shout out to everyone that is interested in joining the membership club on over there, the collector gatherers. Basically what the club is, it's, um, it's a monthly membership for people that want to have, you know, more of a kind of more close interactive type of, you know, bond with me. You guys can get personal, like quickie personal readings over there if you guys cannot put, um, afford um, a personal or private reading where, you know, you, we're using all of these decks here and basically a personal private reading is what I'm about to do right now on camera for you guys for your monthly. I'm, I will be doing that for you on a personal level but for people who cannot afford that for a dollar 99 or 4.99 you can subscribe for my monthly membership where i'm be over there doing live readings and stuff like that for my members it's a private member only platform over on patreon so nobody just off the street can just come and hop on over there and see what's going on you have to be a member and it's a monthly membership so on my off weeks i'll be over on patreon and we'll be doing live readings um so on the night 199 tier um basically how we would do on youtube before you guys will put your questions in the chat i'll just grab you guys at randoms and you know i'll do quick spreads for you guys and um I'll be doing those on my off weeks. We'll also be doing um, call-ins. I'm going to get a conference line set up. I have a Bluetooth speaker and everything. So you guys will be able to call in. And we're going to be discussing topics. Um, stuff that's going on. Um, I don't necessarily think the stuff that's been going on in the media. But particularly things that's been coming out in collective readings. A lot of the collective readings. Um, like the... Um, the tea, some of the tea readings, y'all are going to have exclusive tea readings that are only going to be over here on Patreon. Um, I'm going to have a street life reading um, that is only going to be over here on Patreon. I might drop a couple of them over on YouTube, but mainly that's going to be over on Patreon. So there's going to be a lot of exclusive content that is strictly over on Patreon and that we will be giving sneak previews over on youtube so y'all can just see what we do over there um so when we get a lot of juicy topics that come out in the collective readings i might pull out my speaker and be like shit let's talk about this shit anybody going through this call in let's talk about it and so not only will you guys be able to call in and talk to me and interact with me um you'll be able to see what other people are saying in the chat to give you advice so it's, it's just like it's a different way for us to be able to you know interact with each other in the 499 tier like i said we have some decks that are a little bit more sexually explicit that we cannot use over here on youtube this deck here all right and i got a new spread that's called um sex scandals and secrets and lies i forgot what the hell i called it last week whatever i'm gonna figure out an official title for it but it's gonna be like we're gonna be getting into the root and potatoes to what's going on. Like, I just did a spread for someone with that. And for people that's been trying to fun figure out what the hell's been going on with the person that they're dealing with, if they think there's some funny stuff going on, oh, honey, trust me, between them tea leaves and that deck, honey, them secrets is going to come out. In the, in the tarot deck of sexual magic, honey, them secrets is starting to come out. And it's Gemini time, honey. Oh, my goodness. Some secrets been coming out, y'all. It's been real wild. So <laughs> I'm just going to say that. Anyway, so we want to be having the more sexually explicit content over on the adult only $4.99 tier. Um, 
we're going to be having some like late night weekend like on saturdays i think i'm gonna be doing like a saturday at nine like at least once a month we want to be doing like a saturday at nine um you know red hot topic segment where we're going to be talking about a lot of sex love and relationship topics like you know if y'all feel like you don't you lost the spice in your relationship you trying to figure out how to turn your man on or you know you you trying to we gonna be talking about a lot of a lot of grown stuff y'all gonna be able to call in and be like hey i want to call in and just you know respond to that other caller where they were asking when they were talking about this well this is what i do with my man or this is what i do with my love and when i get on top i do this and this and that it's going look <laughs> honey we gonna be yeah it's gonna be straight love over there so i will be getting on youtube and then putting an official video out and announcing patreon is up live and ready thank you to everyone who is subscribed yet y'all just give me in like a week to get everything running the way i need it to run but honey we about to have some fun and like i said if there's anybody that is like some tech gurus that can help me figure out how to get everything connected and set up correctly because it's just something that i'm not doing right and i need to figure it out but y'all just help me and we're gonna get it all together give me a week and we're gonna be good so that's the big announcement about patreon Patreon and thank you to everyone who's been supporting the page. Have it be by the Amazon wish list, um, PayPal. You guys have made all this equipment possible. Y'all have made y'all have been supporting by sending all of these different decks and just like we just got this Zen Tarot deck what we'll be using today. And just like I just I, I'm just so appreciative. Oh, and we also got what is this here? The Afro Brazilian Tarot deck as well that I haven't used yet. And um, well, I use it personally, but I haven't used it yet. Um I'm just amazed and I'm just so thankful and I'm just so grateful for all of the love that you guys have been sending. Um oh, we also got another deck that just came in too. I mean, like every day I turn around, I'm just getting a new package, and it's just a complete surprise to me, and I'm just like, y'all make me cry, like, the amount of love that y'all send to my dream to just support me to be able to keep doing my dream every day. Like, I just, I, I'm so, I don't want to cry, but we just got this deck, too. You know what I'm saying? The Love Oracle deck. So, I love you, I love you, I love you, and I love you, and I thank you guys so much for loving me. I don't, I ain't mean to get emotional, but... Um, sometimes it's overwhelming, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes we be in this world and like we be going through our own personal, our life struggles and things. And um, you just be feeling alone sometimes and, you know, like don't nobody know what you're going through. But, and, and, and it's like you overlook the people that genuinely love the fucking shit out of you sometimes and it's like every time you be wanting to put your head down and feel sorry for yourself or get sad or something something happened boom look up look how blessed you are you are blessed and highly favored and like i just appreciate y'all every time y'all keep pushing me y'all keep me in my brain where i'm staying creative but i'm trying to think of new things and how to make things better and how to be different and how we can laugh and just i just want my page to be a place where people with collective thinking and collective mind with the same goal it's just like listen we want true love we're not settling we're not going to lessen ourselves we're not going to dumb ourselves down for nothing or nobody We'll wait and we'll be patient only for what is destined and what is God given to us. Until then, we're going to be single. We're going to be fun. We're going to be abundant. We're going to be prosperous in our journey. And we're going to live and love life. We're going to do everything that our heart has ever decided to do, ever. You know what I'm saying? And just really, truly walking on faith and just being elevated on a higher platform to just <laughs> be the number one stop on this stage like that's where we are right now ladies and um i just want everyone to know that and just know that all of us are goddesses all of us have that goddess energy in us is that we just have to learn how to use it and how to utilize it in our life and just always know anytime that you're feeling down to look up and realize how fucking blessed you are because honey every last one of y'all that has clicked this video is blessed and highly favored 
blessed and highly favored. Before you look down, look up and say, Father God, you know, I might be going through something right now, but I thank you for everything that you have given me because you, you always give me all of the resources I need. Always. Every time when you be like, I don't know how I'm going to do this, boom. You survive, don't we? <laughs> all glory to God. All right, listen, let me stop running my mouth. I'm sorry. I'm going to say a quick prayer. Um, to anybody that is new to the page, my booking information is in the about tab. I don't want to keep running my mouth too much, but um, yeah, booking the link with me. My booking is um, Scorpion Reds Tarot as simply book me. Then um, after you book with me, click that Instagram link. If you don't have Instagram, you can connect me with, with me on Google Hangouts. And my email is scorpionreds at gmail.com. Okay, and then we'll link up and then everything will go good from there. Um, my PayPal and my um, Amazon wish list and all my links and everything is in the about tab. Let's get into the energy. Father God, thank you so much. Oh my God, we back at it again. <laughs> back at it. All right. Father, we in the kitchen and we cooking. Oh my God, we back at it again. Father, we back at it. <laughs> I'm laughing because they don't even understand, Father God. They don't even understand. I, I want to say the monster that we created, but we wanted the cute little snuggly, cute little fluffy monsters with the little furry hair and the little cute pink boots and you know little purple skirt and stuff. You know, <laughs> little cute little thing. You know what I'm saying? Little, little, yeah. Like one of them little things, yeah. Anyway, so, um, ooh. Ooh, like the cute little trolls with the glitter and shit on the movie Trolls. Like, we look like that. Like, what are the little cute glittery? Yeah, okay. They don't even know what kind of cute ass little goddamn thing they got bouncing around all here now, honey. We just sprinkling glitter and unicorn dust all everywhere, honey. Everybody is screaming, Power Ranger Unicorn Puss. Everybody ain't power. Everybody ain't Power Ranger Unicorn Puss. Please let them know, okay? You gotta go through the goddamn divine feminine school of divinity first, okay? You can't just be out there screaming Power Ranger Unicorn Puss, okay? You gotta go through the school of divinity, okay? Is you hearing me? Okay, anyway. Father God, listen, because we clowning. Father, thank you so much for just, <laughs> oh, I'm laughing because they don't understand this monster that they don't create. Father God, we is sprinkling fairy unicorn dust all over the atmosphere everywhere we go. And people are trying to figure out where the heck she come from you know what i'm saying have you ever just walked into a room and your energy is just so on 2000 can't nobody take you and they just like where she come from god bitch don't do me sprinkle <laughs> sprinkle sprinkle on them hoes sprinkle leave them with leave them dust sprinkle father Thank you for making this beautiful, beautiful fairies and just unicorns. Spread. Thank you for all. Thank you for the glory because they don't know our story. Thank you for our glory because they don't know our story, Father God, because we be going places and they can't take us because they don't understand energy and they can't take our vibration. People that are of a low vibration, when we come into the room, it makes them so sick. And Father, I think you need to you need to send them some medication, okay? Cause we not listen. <laughs> Cause when we leave out the room, they eating dust, okay? <laughs> Do you understand? You gonna have to get them. Uh, you gonna have to get them something. My husband, you have to get them something because they can't take us. And then we leave unicorn fairy dust all over the atmosphere. They can't breathe, Father God. Help them help help them they can't take us and it's not it's not no mm -mm, that's not our problem so father give us guidance because we are just we're, we're we're contaminating the atmosphere with love with love with love with love i mean because we are loving ourselves so much okay 
the people that don't love their self, <laughs> they, they listen, they having problems. And we need, and, and, and listen, <laughs> we got to bounce around this universe and spread love. We got to bounce around this universe and teach these women their divinity. We got to bounce around this, this, this universe and spread love and be the definition of love. And that's what we are. So if there's anyone that's mad at you, let them stay mad, okay? I hope they don't choke, okay? So, Father God, give us guidance for the divine feminine. Because just the way I'm feeling right now, I hope y'all are taking y'all spiritual baths, y'all spiritual cleansing. When y'all do a cleansing, make sure that you do a cleansing bath, but then you do another bath right after that where you're sweetening yourself. You know what I'm saying? All right, so cleanse your energy, okay? So you could do, like I say, the Epsom salt, um, I put Epsom salt, baking soda, Himalayan sea salt, whatever essential oil you want to use, whatever flowers, whatever little mixtures, or whatever stuff you want to put in there. Do that. Purify yourself. Cleanse. Get it all out, right? And then the next day, do a milk and honey bath, baby. Do a milk and honey and oats bath, honey. Put some little rose petals and stuff like that. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Whatever else you want to do. Mm-hmm. And I promise you, when you come out of that bath, baby, you're going to feel like a guy. You're going to feel like walking love. Okay? And that's maybe why I'm talking shit, because I just had one. That's probably why I'm talking this shit. Do you hear me? <laughs> you're going to feel like walking love. Okay? So, Father God, give us guidance for June, because I'm running my mouth too much anyway. See, that's what happens when you <laughs> that's what happens when you dedicate your life to loving yourself and loving. <laughs> that's what happens when you dedicate your life to loving and pampering and treating yourself like a fucking goddess. Trust me, the man that is gonna come into your life can't do nothing but give you the same because that's what you're teaching the universe that that's what you like. You understand that that's what you are, okay? They gonna give you what you are. You are what you eat, honey. Oh, listen. <laughs> listen to me, Belinda. See, Linda the hard-headed one. Belinda, Belinda. That's the gangster one from Southeast DC. That's the one to know how to listen. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Girl, no. Girl, no. Girl, no. Yeah, we got to talk to Belinda from Southeast D.C., okay? <laughs> okay? All right. Give me guidance for Belinda. Woo! Take back your power. Belinda say, yes, girl. Yes, girl. What? You ain't got to tell me that. Mm-mm, girl. Nah. Okay, yeah, that's how the Southeast bitches be talking in D.C. <laughs> girl. Facts like shit. What? <laughs> Take back your power, okay? Use your God given. <laughs> yes, come on. Use your God given power and intentions to manifest the blessings into your life. Yes, Father. Father. Father God. Come on, Father. Father. Come on. Let me show you, Father. Come on. Father. Come on. Tell us to manifest. Okay, listen, you ain't even got to tell me but once. Come on now. Come on now. Wait. Okay, no, let me do this. Because I was, I, was, I was about to jump into the love, but no. We got to get general energy because we got to see what's going on. Take back your power, ladies. All right? Use your God-given power and intentions to manifest your... I feel like... For a lot of you guys, you guys really, really want to reach the stars. Like, you guys have a lot of serious intentions to where you want your life to go. And it's like, God is giving you his blessings. He's like, baby, let's do this shit. Let's do this shit. Let's, let, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. The five of cups, okay? I feel like a lot of you guys are still, like, kind of licking your wounds from some shit that's going on in the past. But at the end of the day, fuck that bad little kitty that knocked over the motherfucker cups, bitch. You ain't got, you, for someone, only one cup was knocked over. You still got four more on that floor. Girl, if you don't pick up and go, 
that's one cup that ain't even three cups spilled over okay so there is someone in this group that you only allow someone to fuck you over once and you over here and you like uh-uh i'm about to take <laughs> what fool me once bitch huh 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 Okay, Ace of Wands, I'm going to start a brand new motherfucking uh, place elsewhere. I will burn down that motherfucking foundation. I will go move and find me and, and build me a new foundation elsewhere. Okay, and we'll put all my passion and all my energy behind it. Don't do it, honey. I'm, look, I'm about that action. Okay, you fuck me over once and I get to step in. Okay, come on. Who's about to start new beginnings around here, honey? Who is doing it? Who you look, you see how you burning those old leaves, honey, and you're growing new ones. And you're grabbing that magic stick of manifestation and create. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, girls. Come on. Listen. Page of wands in reverse. All right, so hmm, let's see what's going on with him. Oh, okay. So you might got a page of wands, okay? Someone in your past, possibly, that's very immature, that might be messaging you very soon, looking for some type of attention. They want attention. They like attention. And they want attention from you. Let's see what we're about to do with these attention. You know, because at the end of the day, you say, honey, fuck me over once. I will get, get, get it. <laughs> Won't be no twice. Fuck me over once. I will get, get, get it. So it looks like someone, huh, someone, you, you, you've you offered many blessings to this person. I feel like you were many blessings to this person. And they made a very, very, very valuable mistake. Yeah. It was a valuable mistake. And I mean that because they lost something of value and they learned a very valuable lesson okay because now they see listen they see how you move they see how you move now mm -mm. i kicks ass and I, I don't ask questions honey i move on my intuition and my intuition tell me it's time for me to pop and drop honey i'm gonna pop and drop okay <laughs> i'm gonna pop and drop so you know what type of intentions do you even have right now? You know? What type of intentions does this person have? Let's find out what type of intentions does this person have here. This person that is sending messages. Alright? Sending messages. It seems like it might it, it might seem like this is someone who is using their masculinity, their um sexual ability to please you to gain attention because they know I feel like this like I said the magic did I said the magic stick or the magic wand or something I feel like to this person that's their power that's how they gain attention with this magic stick with this wand and I don't see that you are very receptive to this communication from this person because page of bond means messages it means passionate messages but it doesn't seem like this person is communicating with you with intentions to stay in and stick around this person is communicating with you for to fill their own personal needs for attention, for glorification. They want, you know what I'm saying? It's the ego. It's for ego fulfillment. They're going to be in and out. Like as soon as they get the attention and the desire effect that they need to fulfill them for that moment. They're going to be back out of the door searching for glorification and admiration elsewhere. The privileged lady. The privileged lady. This was in reverse. I don't know. I try not to read these in reversals, but okay. The pathway. High honor. Okay. 
So this person is going to try to come back. Okay. So this person is Page of Wands. This person, and we already know it's immature. We already know that this person has already been in and out of our life. This person uses sex for gratification and control and... You know, they are attention-seeking whores, basically. Um, so this person left, and now they're coming back for more. <laughs> they want they want more. And I feel like they're going to try to come back with the intentions to fill your head up with thoughts and make you feel like you're the privileged lady, you're the one. But remember, this came out in the reverse. And... I'm going to keep it in reverse because, like I said, this person is in and out. They're just coming out because they're seeking attention. They're seeking sex. And once they get their fill, they're going to get bored. They're going to be back out of the door. They only stay when the getting is good. As soon as someone else gives them glorification, that gratification, and they're, you know... They feel like they could get a promotion somewhere else. They're going to be off. That's why this privileged lady for me is going to stay in the reverse. Because it's like the false pretenses of giving you this honor of being a privileged lady. And making you feel like they made their... They went through this journey. this this They went through this long, gruesome journey to make their way to their privileged lady because... They want to give you the high honor and the praise and the claim. It's like, after this long journey of whoring and all of these horrible tales and stories of everything that I've been through, I want to come back and I want to, I want to crown you. I want to, I want, I, I want you to know that you're the one, you're the privileged one. I went through all of this and through all, all of these journeys and everything that I went through. I went through a hard journey to find out that you're the one, that you're the privileged lady, and, and you're the one that I should have always kept that high honor, and I should have never took a path away from you. I should have never, you know, <laughs> you know, like, that's basically what I'm getting. But it's bullshit. It's bullshit. Give me more general guidance in regards to Divine Feminine, what we're going to be dealing with. This June, okay? Give me guidance of what the Divine Feminine is going to be dealing with this June. Please give me an overview. Please give me more guidance for my Divine Feminine. All right, last shuffle. Thank you. Let's see. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Why? Uh, a conflict. Five of Wands. The King of Wands. The Nine of Swords. Emperor. It's two different men. Hmm. Hmm. All right, ladies. All right, ladies. Let me find out. Okay, y'all got two different men. Okay. Okay, ladies, we reloading. Boom. Okay, you got two different niggas. Okay, ladies, what we doing, what we doing, what we doing this spring and this summer, boo? It's all about you. I feel like... Okay. You guys were dating somebody. Because this is not the person from your past. This is the asshole from the past. This is your asshole from the past. You guys been seeing someone recently. This motherfucker, because of what this person did to you, all of this bullshit, this person that you met, they fucked up one time. You ain't even give them a second time to fuck you over. You moved on quickly. Okay? I already know to don't waste my time with people. I already know how to take care of myself and to take my power back from people when they don't appreciate me. You understand what I'm saying? Give me some clarification on that real quick, please. Give me clarification on the Five of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, blocked messages. <laughs> yeah, I blocked messages. 
Yeah, from that from that main one that y'all was talking to. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Y'all block this person. Y'all block messages from that main person that y'all were talking to. Y'all been talking to someone. Y'all just met someone and it's just like, uh-uh. No, I already know. I already know. I already learned from this one. <clears throat> Who's still immature. Mm-mm. I feel like you guys are going through a bout of misfortune right now because... At first, you didn't have no options. Now, you got too many fucking options. You got about four or five different dudes. Because don't mistake and don't forget that there are five cups on this playing field. One foolish kitty knocked over the Pum Pum Juice. Okay? One idiot knocked the Pum Pum Juice over no unicorn pum pum magical splash mountain juices for you mon frere sorry i've been drinking watermelon i'm sorry <laughs> not for you putting not for you okay not anymore i feel like that was the one that you were giving the cat to mm -hmm. that one was the one you were giving the the puss that was the one you were giving the puss to. Okay. But not no more. Not no more, my fair. I look back at you and I say, tis, tis, shame on you. I got other options. I got four or five other that will love to be the main. <laughs> that want that fame. You don't know my name. Say my name. Say my name. You better stop fucking around with me. Cause I put you in the dust. Say my name. Say my name. Nigga. You better say my name. I got too many motherfuckers out here trying to give me the wood. Okay? Okay, I don't know what the fuck is popping off this spring. I told y'all I hopped on camera screaming um, Pop Pink Power Ranger Puss. Unicorn, fairy dust, okay? Y'all leaving them in the dust because y'all have other options. Y'all are not playing around with no attention horn ass motherfuckers. Y'all are a whole total different breed, okay? That's a, what, what they say on the magic, on the, on the Wizard of Oz. That's a horse of a total, totally different color, okay? You the little rainbow horse that be skipping around, changing colors every five seconds. Niggas don't even know how to adapt to you, okay? Sprinkling dust all over the place. Sprinkle. Little for you, little for you. Leaving them hypnotized and shit. Giving everyone misfortune because everybody can't have you. Everybody cannot have the pink unicorn power ranger magical fairy dust. Empress Puss. They cannot have it, honey. They cannot take you. They cannot mistake you for none other. Hunty, do you understand what I'm saying, hun? Hun, you got these people out there competing and trying to figure out how to one-up each other, how to outmatch each other, all right? All of them are different. All of them got different qualities. You like this one because he got money. You like this one because he got the honey. You like this one because he got the nice car. You got the other one because he can take you quite far. You got options, bitch. Okay? All right? And you got double dig laid back in the Maybach somewhere and just get your rocks off. You already know what that one's about. You know to just fucking duck with that one, okay? Because you ain't going to fuck this one. You're going to make them um kind of, you know, save the moment. You're going to make them, uh you know, taste the rainbow a little bit, a little bit later once you kind of, like, figure out what you going to do with them. Because you dating. You understand? See, that's what you got to do. You got to keep you a pocket rocket in the back that you can get your rocks off on so you can date and not have the temptation of actually want to make a mistake and jump your ass out there too quick and giving up the pussy too quick. Girl, don't do it. Mm-mm. Don't do it. Don't do it. Because these niggas fighting over you and you ain't even give it up yet. I told you you only gave it up to one. And this nigga done fucked up. But these motherfuckers still hanging around, still ready to battle and compete for you, and you ain't even give it up. And that's how, girl, listen, it's, 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 it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate because you don't know how to make a decision right now. You don't know how to make a decision right now. You don't know how to 
you do not know how to choose who the main man is right now, okay? In the month of June, you're going to have a few of them around you. And you're going to have a few duds. I feel like the one that you was really liking out of all of them, this one fucked up. You, one mistake, you gone. I got these other ones. And I feel like more is coming. More is coming. But you done already gave the puss to this one. So you good for a minute. You just dating. You about to let these dudes take you out. I'll match each other. And you about to sit back and look real cute with it. And watch them compete. And you just going to enjoy the scenery. That's what I'm really feeling like. Look. Uh, 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 look. What, 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 what we at in um, the Coliseum or something like that? Go ahead, uh, battle. I'm going to battle, okay? This is a fencing match or some shit. Honey, listen. You were in between the King of Wands and the Emperor. Both strong, powerful men. Both strong, powerful men. You already got rid of one. These are two. You understand what I'm saying? So where the other one? Okay, so look. <clears throat> and look again. Look at the last card in the deck. You got three people on their knees begging your favor. Take my pinnacle. No, take my pinnacle. Take my pinnacle. No, take my pinnacle. And you ain't giving your pinnacle to nobody. Listen to me. Ladies, what I'm trying to tell you, when you change your fucking energy and you learn that you are walking magic, okay? And that you are a walking blessing. And that you are a walking favor to the girl. Let me try to tell you, somebody done took back their motherfucking power and like I said, kicked in this motherfucking reading, screaming, pink, unicorn, magical, Power Ranger, Splash Mountain, Puss, all through this motherfucker. What? Lady, scream it with me. Divine Feminine Take Over. The wait is over. Okay? Divine Feminine Take Over. The wait is over. Ladies, the only misfortune that is coming to you is that you got motherfuckers competing over you and you don't know. What the fuck to do other than sit back and enjoy the show? Hmm. <laughs> oh, God, what, why, why is Lil' Kim popping up my head? Something, something, eating my pussy while I watch cartoon. Seek the doom. Whatever that fucking song is, like, I'm here. Mm, mm, mm. Hold on, hold on. And Peter Piper puffed him. I bet you Biggie Buster. We try to fuck up. I told him not to trust her. Lyrically, I dust him off like something. Hard like flesh hair. Oh, oh. Queen bitch, supreme bitch. Kill a nigga for my nigga by any means, bitch. Murder scene, bitch. Clean bitch. Disease free, bitch. Check it. I ride a rhyme. Milk in your mouth like Eminem's. Rub with the mafia. Remember them? Tell them when I used to play with Jenemis. Straight up apostle. Ah, come on. Y'all on some Queen B shit, okay? What? So, I, mean, I can't remember all the lyrics, but this bitch, I just keep her and something, something eating my pussy while I watch cartoons. And internet man, internet John Queen bitch, supreme bitch, kill a nigga for my nigga. Like, that's what I'm hearing. Like, y'all look, queen bitch, supreme bitch, kill a nigga for my nigga by any means, bitch. Mother C, bitch. What? <laughs> like, you commanded these niggas. Do you understand? Like, these motherfuckers do what I say. Okay? Who the fuck are y'all? Who the fuck? Are these my OGs? Where y'all at? I need roll call. Where y'all at in the chat? Where the fuck are y'all at, my divine and fine-ass feminists? Where the fuck is y'all at in the chat? Where y'all cities at? Let me see them cities in the motherfucking chats. Where y'all at? Where y'all at, young? The only thing that is driving you crazy is you trying to figure out which boss fucking nigga to fucking choose. You got an emperor like baby. I will put you on my back. And I got this one over here like nigga. I'm the fucking lion, honey. I look good and honey, I am literally sex on a stick. This nigga is old, okay? Yeah, he the emperor. He could protect you, but honey, I could protect you too. And I put dick all down your back. That nigga's old. Girl, how do you how do you choose? How do you choose, honey? How do you choose? I can't, I can't, I can't, 
I can't. Is this the, is this is this the, is this the misfortune? This is the misfortune. Give it to me. Give it to me, Father God. Give me this misfortune, Father. Give it to me now. Now. Now go right now. Give it to me now. Father, please clarify this spread so I can make sure I'm not crazy. <laughs> and I just seen that unexpected income. Just honey, please, Father God, please clarify this for me in the name of Jesus. Please tell me that this is the misfortune. Because I would take this misfortune any day. Father, what is this? Occupation. Occupation. Okay. Alright. Alright. Work. Oh, marriage. I fuck it to bitch. You know what? Okay, no, 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 no. Divine feminine. I'm not playing with y'all right now. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, 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 no. Working like shit towards marriage. These motherfuckers, girl. Listen. You know what? I'm not. Mm, mm. Listen to me, ladies. Ladies. Beep, beep. Who got the keys to the jeep? Room. Jesus like shit. Father God, thank you. Can y'all say with me, Father? Father God. Father God, thank you, Heavenly Father God. Thank you so much, Father God. Father. Father. Thank you. Okay. Let me find out what's going on with love real quick. Cause I just I just had to. What does it say? Only time will tell. Ooh. Mmm. Look me in my eyes. Tell me what you see. Do you think I'm crazy? I don't think you're crazy, girl. I Man, don't think you're crazy at all. I think you've been changing your energy, my friend. I think you've been doing your work, girlfriend. Oh, cara mia. Oh, cara mia, you've been changing your energy, cara mia. <gasps> you, girlfriend. Only time will tell when these men gonna come into your life, girlfriend. You've been changing your energy. I am happy. I'm proud of you, girlfriend. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> God, I'm here. Oh, it says, oh, manifesting miracle. Father God, you better come through with the glory today. And I ain't even playing with you. Please give me a hug. Father, put your hands on me, Jesus. Thank you. Okay, come on. Manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Is that not the tree of fucking life? Bitch. Uh-uh-uh. God. You better send that motherfucker on his pathway, bitch. Okay? Send him on his way. Okay? Andale, andale, andale. Send him somewhere. We have no need for his presence. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ooh. Surrender. Sacred union. What? Oh, what is all of this? Oh, passion. What is this? All oh, this on this on this table that just fell out in the name of Jesus. What is this? Romance, sexual union. You know what, Father God? Take me now. Take me. Take me, Father. Take me to Wakanda. Father, did we land? Ladies, I think we done arrived. We done arrived to Wakanda, bitch. Can I do a welcoming dance, bitch? Can I do a welcoming dance, bitch? Fuck that. Let me do a shimmy. Let me do a shimmy, bitch. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, bitch. Let me do a shimmy. Give me. Give, Father, give me. Give me. Manifesting miracles the only time would tell. What? I, I, I can't spell. I don't, man, I don't even know what to do with my life right now, ladies. Are y'all help? Can y'all help me? Send me the energy to help me make it through this reading because this is too much for me. This is too merch. Ladies, is this not too merch for you? Is this too merch? Okay. I want some sex. I want, I want it. I want it. It's a surrender, girl. Belinda, surrender. But see, Belinda, didn't I tell y'all Belinda ghetto ass was all up in here? See, you get shit done with a ghetto bitch. Because ghetto bitches ain't scared of shit. They listen. They ain't no pussy. They going, they going to fight through it. They fight us, okay? We got some OGs. We got little. Okay, anyway, let me stop. Surrender. 
At times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and it will all work out. Honey, when the ex come back over here with that in and out shit, you better tell them, please find you another direction in life and don't ever bring your whack ass the fuck back over here. Honey, I got some other shit going on. Bitch, this says sacred union. It says honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. Honey, you about to ask somebody. Oh! Girl, you better surrender to that sacred union. Passion and magnetic and seductive quality surround you at present. Enjoy it. You're, I'm trying to tell y'all, somebody done really changed their energy and they are literally, because they are, oh, they are, oh, what is this saying? They are attracting this in their life. Romance, Cupid, Arrow, Strikes. You guys have, oh my God, it's like y'all worked with that occupation card. Y'all will work it towards like calling in this type of union like this. Uh, sexual union, honor the place in one another where you are eternal, where you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. A sexual union, listen, I'm sorry, y'all about to get some dick, the dick, dick, the dick, dick, dick. Where in the fuck did I hear that, young? I don't know where the fuck I heard someone sing Dickelodeon, but whoever sung that shit, whatever video I seen that at, shout out to you, because that shit is fucking amazing. I am trying to go to Dickelodeon. Um, is that a, 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 a amusement park we can stop at before we reach Wakanda? Um, anyway, this says, emotions are natural and a necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. So listen to me, that's the last message. You guys better make sure, cause the, 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 the level of what I see about to come in here right now, beloved, I want all of that. So if there's still someone holding on to some type of to resentment or something with something in the past, you need to take you need to take back your power and let that shit go. Cause look, God has like giving you a, a blessing right now. And I'm I'm on look, I'm on that boat. I am on that boat. Give it to me. Yes, I am the one. You fucked me over once. Bye bye. Okay? I hope you enjoyed the kitty because you will never in your life experience again. I got other things to do. Okay? I'm going to Nickelodeon. Okay? On the way to Wakanda. What? Girl, don't you ever do me. Ooh, clarify this, Father God. Please clarify this spread for me, Father. Please give me some guidance, Father God. Give me some guidance for my divine feminine. Clarify this spread. Give me guidance, Father change <laughs> y'all manifested this change it like literally it says what turn it in but this is in the reverse you're not it's like <laughs> what's this silence you're not being quiet the rebel ah! I don't see no body else excuse me why I feel myself excuse me why I feel myself so this is what I'm hearing you guys have manifested change it's like literally spinning around in the cosmos everything that you guys have been manifesting you know like when I was telling y'all a long time ago stop worrying like once you pray and you manifest something just have faith and keep moving and just go day by day. Just take it one day at a time and just know that that shit is working itself out and it's building itself up in intensity in the background. Do you see the change that you have caused into your life? You have. You guys, you already turned in. You see what I'm saying? You already turned in. I take I take turn in like it's time to turn, turn in. Like time to go in and go to sleep. You see what I'm saying? I feel like you guys already did that. And you see how all of those little things up there. I feel like you guys already turned yourself inside out and battled with your inner demons. And now it's time to turn it out. 
<laughs> you see what I'm saying? You done turned it in and now it's time to turn it out. Because you done already faced those demons. You done already dealt with them inner demons. And you done faced those challenges. And it's like, you're aware you are alive. You are alive and loud and free. It's like nothing or no one can silence me ever again. Do you understand what I'm saying? Nothing can silence me. I feel like this is the moon card. This is someone that... This is someone that realized that their thoughts are literally creations. And if I sit there and if I continue to think and be scared and, and, and allow my fears to dominate my mind, I'm not doing nothing but calling forth these demons, these negative spirits, all of this negative shit that I don't want. You see what I'm saying? So this is someone that's realizing I need to silence those negative thoughts in my mind because I am the master of my ship. I am the controller of my destiny. Do you understand what I'm saying? Intuitively, I know when those thoughts, when those wants, when those desires or whatever it is, whatever temptation it is that is lurking and is lying deep inside of me, you know? I know that those things are not for me, and I know that those are not things that I need to think or worry about, you know? I don't turn myself in, and now I'm turning myself out, and I shall not be silenced. I will walk forth in faith in my intuition, knowing that I'm an empress, knowing that I'm a goddess, knowing that I am a walking form of magic <laughs> itself. Sprinkle. Sprinkle. This is the rebel card. This is the rebel card. But this is in the reverse. Okay? This is the rebel card. And this is the in reverse. The rebel card, that is what? In the tarot deck. That is, um, oh my god. I want to say that's the emperor. That's the emperor card. So, what I'm getting is, it's like, I feel like, you're not responsible for taking care of other people. You're not responsible for handling other people's affairs. You're not responsible for standing up and having to defend other people. I feel like you are a little bit more... It's about self-preservation. You know what I'm saying? I'm a rebel, but I'm a rebel for myself. I'm not about to go out there and be fighting other people's fucking wars anymore. You know? And I feel like you are taking back your power in that because I feel like you did a lot of things for a lot of people. And I just want to make sure that I'm not tripping. I know I'm not tripping. I know I'm not tripping. The number four in tarot, that is the emperor. And I know I'm not tripping. Just let me make sure I'm not tripping. Yes, it is. Thank you. See, why do I always doubt myself? Like, come on now, Red. Why you doubt yourself like you don't know? Come on now. Anyway. But these different decks, like, they all have different meanings. It's just, you know what I'm saying? Let me see what the Rebel card says in here real quick. Just to see what it says, you guys. Just to see what it says. It says the Rebel. The powerful and authoritative figure in this card is clearly the master of his destiny. Remember I said the captain of my own soul, the leader of my own destiny or whatever? The powerful and authoritative figure in this card is clearly the master of his own destiny. On his shoulder is the emblem of the sun and the torch he holds in his right hand symbolizes the, the light of his own hard won the light of his own hard won truth. Whether he is wealthy or poor, the rebel is really a, is really an emperor because he has broken the change of society's um, repressive conditionings and opinions. He has formed himself by embracing all the colors of the rainbow, emerging from the dark and form the roots of his um, conspicuous past and growing wings to fly into the sky. His very way of being rebellious, not because he's fighting against anybody or anything, but because he has discovered his own true nature and is determined to live in accordance with it. The eagle is his spirit animal, a messenger between the earth and the sky. The rebel challenges us to be courageous enough to take responsibility for who we are and live in our truth in the name of Jesus. Come on here. Come on here. So it's like 
and I don't, I don't think that these cards are meant to be in the upright and stuff like, and, you know, because I don't think that they are. But that's basically what I was saying without. Yeah, it's just like. Well, people think that you are what you should be. Things that you used to take care of, things that you used to do. You're not doing that shit no more. It's literally like you have broken those chains. You have broken those chains. Any old soul ties, any old thoughts of you feeling like you had to, like, literally put the world on your back and put your needs secondary to other. You're not doing that shit no more. That's not who you are no more. You know, and the emperor and the upright, that is someone who's an upright person, is a leader, a provider, a protector, this, this, and that. And in the reverse, that's someone that's, at, that's the complete opposite. But I'm not taking that energy in a way like we're just a fucked up slouch person. No, we're not responsible for you guys anymore. And we are being a motherfucking rebel. And we are breaking those chains. You get me? Come on, ladies. Come on now. Come the fuck on. Come on. Give me more guidance and love. I'm looking right here first. Okay, we gotta go here. Give me more guidance and love. Cause we don't we don't listen. We is we done we done called and change. We done turned it in. We done turned it out. You know? We done learned to silence those negative thoughts and we will not be silenced. What we want we shall get and we shall manifest it into the light. Do you understand? We are the captain of our ship and the master of our destiny and we are rebels. <laughs> we are calling in everything that we deserve and we are taking back our power and we are manifesting beauty and light and prosperity into our future in the name of Jesus. You better know it. Come on. Give me guidance. What is this? Come on the muse. The views. You guys have learned in the past to be careful what you ask for. You understand what I'm saying? Using your tools wisely. Okay? Everything that you think is a request. Every want, every desire is a request. Everything that you say out of your mouth is a request and a petition. Everything that you write, everything that you draw, your heart's intentions is a request. So, we are... What in the dear fuck? Shit. Okay, this is Brandon. Let's talk to Brandon. Go ahead. So, excuse me. Hurry up. Go. Okay. Bye. Okay, mom. So, excuse me, guys. So, I feel like we are paying more attention and looking more closely to the picture that we're painting to the universe as to what we want before we just petition and ask and, and you know what I'm saying because like I said like if you sit in right there and you just like man I wish I had a bag of chips that's a petition you see what I'm saying because it's like my baby wants a bag of chips so it's like somehow you don't know how you're gonna have a bag of chips for the ones that say i wish i had a bag of chips and just left it there and just skipped on a lot around a day and, and continue to have a beautiful blessed day and was thankful for everything else that they had they always magically end up with a fucking bag of chips they don't know how the fuck they got it but the universe makes it happen for them for the ones that say Man, I wish I had a bag of chips. But then they sit in their living room and they're pouting. And it's like, man, I'm so fucking broke. I'm tired of being broke all the time. I don't even got no money to buy a measly fucking bag of chips. A bag of chips only probably, what, $2.19? And then you start getting mad and start lifting up pillow couches and uh, 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 cushions and looking for change. And you getting mad stomping through the house. I can't even find. This don't make no motherfucking sense. That, that's the one that don't get the chips. You see what I'm saying? That's the one that don't get the chips. I hope y'all understand what I'm saying. I think I did make a good example. So it's being careful of what type of picture you're painting to the universe. You know what I'm saying? Being careful of what you're painting to the universe. Alright? Give me guidance for my divine feminine and love. Thank you so much. Give me guidance for my divine feminine and love. Thank you so much. 
Come on, ladies. Oh yes, 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 yes. You said you guys, you y'all no more. Y'all not. You're not calling into your life anything with anybody that has any type of energy that has any type of karmic shit. Nothing. That's completely going to take you away from the big dream. Completely. You're not even going to even pick up your pencil, your paintbrush, your marker, nothing to try to draw no picture of that. It ain't, ain't, ain't no perfect picture. There ain't no perfect picture. There will not be no perfect picture, no big dream with a third person. Your intuition told you that. You know that. So this is someone being careful what the fuck they wishing for. And it's like, I will not be silenced. I'm a fucking rebel. I don't accept this type of bullshit. People know they don't even step to you with this type of shit. You understand what I'm saying? Well, I'm not going to say that. This one's going to try to come step to you. This one is going to try to come back to you and try to act like you're the privileged lady. Yeah, that one's going to try to come and step to you because they want to use you to be, because to you, you're the big dream to them because you are the perfect picture to them. They see that. You understand? So they want to be able to have access to come in and out as they please. And you was like, uh-uh. I don't think so. So we have to address him because he's on the table. And don't think that you will not deal with him this June because you will be dealing with him this June. Okay? He will be showing his face this June. And you will be taking back your power because you have bigger fish to fry. Listen, you have bigger you got the big fish out there you got two big fish out there you have bigger fish to fry little boy go somewhere and find somebody to play with okay yeah yes sir rebel go find somebody to play with sir <laughs> try again try again try again yeah here comes the return. Mm-hmm. But it all has to do with money. It all has to do with money. This return is because this person wants someone to take care of them. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Is this really about this person? Because I'm, I'm about to change up the energy because I don't want to talk about this person anymore. This person can just cannot come to some type of level of understanding. It's just like you're not settling this time. You're not settling for, like, some flowers, a bag of weed, a bottle of liquor, and some Netflix and chill. Like, you're not doing that shit. Like, that's child's play ass type of shit. Like, that's how this person is going to try to come to you, try and get you to accept them and take them back. And look, there's that moon again. Your intuition is telling you, don't do it, bitch. And you're not. And you're absolutely not. No bueno. No bueno. So... Let's so since he won't be in 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 this, give us guidance about this person in the past. Since this person in the past wants to return this June, give us guidance about this person in the past, please. You will not be engaging with this person. I don't even know what to tell you. You won't be engaging with this person. Why won't you be engaging with this person, lady? Shall we, uh, shall we entertain? Are you not entertained? Shall we entertain this man? Shall we entertain him? Let's give him some encouragement not to come this way. <laughs> Let's talk to him. <laughs> Let's tell him what... Why we shall not be engaging with him in Telanga. Give me guidance. What? Oh, what is this saying? You have been revealed. We see everything that you are. And we don't want to see it anymore. <laughs> Get your ass out of here. Boy, we can see right through you. Stop trying to come around here like we can't see who you are. We see exactly who we, who you are and we don't want to see you anymore. Okay? Stop, like, like this person be trying to come back like they slicker than a snicker. You ain't snicker. You ain't... <laughs> Grab a snicker. Nigga, okay? You hungry. You hungry.
hungry. Clearly, you ain't got no money. This man, if you, lady, make this, ladies, make this man a sandwich and send him on his way. Okay? He just hungry and he ain't got no food and he ain't got no way to live. Okay? Okay? He thought he was gonna come back and try and paint the perfect picture and no. You think he about to come back and be back over here with this whole ass shit? Looking for glorification and no, baby. <laughs> you done met a different bitch. Feel carry your little rabbit ass somewhere. Taking back your power. We don't. We don't fuck with niggas like you no more. I got like a marriage material actually on the table now. Like, please give him further advice so we can go on to regular schedule programming, please. Please give little Tink Tink, because little Tink Tink is back, you guys. Tink Tink is back. Give Tink, give little Tink some advice. Y'all say bye to little Tink. Bye to little Tink. Because we got <laughs> the, the real, the real. The real sexy ass, bossed up ass, action oriented, yeah, the one that's going to show us that he loves us, yeah, the one that's going to show us that he's passionate about us, yeah, the one that's going to show us that he want to dick us that long time, that he want to give us a good, good long time, okay, okay, Miss Swan, okay, it looking like a man, that one over there looking like a man, okay, Miss Swan, say that one looking like a man. You're not looking like a man, Tink Tink. You're not looking like a man, Tink Tink. Tink Tink don't look like a man. Oh, Tink Tink in love. Oh, Tink Tink balance. Oh, look at Tink. <laughs> oh, look at Tink. He done went and got some spiritual upliftment. Oh, he done got all divine and beautifuls. And he want peace and love in his life. And he feel like he could get that with us. Oh, ladies. Oh, look at Tink. Look at little Tinkers. The little stinker. Look at little stinker. Look at little Tinker. Little Tink, please. We can see through that shit. Please cut that shit out. We don't give a fuck. Don't be trying to come over here with that shit. Little Tink, go somewhere. Seriously, like for real. Get, give me some guidance on little Tink. Why, what, what the fuck is going on with little Tinkers? <laughs> give me some guidance with little Tinker. Because I feel like little Tinker is being a little stinker. He's being a little stinker because that little karmic card was the fuck up there. Little Tinker. Okay, and he, 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 he don't want to uh, give me guidance about little Tinker, little Tinker coffin. Okay, what's going on? Like, what? Okay, what about that coffin? What about that coffin with little Tink? Oh, the main female. Oh, he's going to come back to you and he's going to tell you that the, that the situation is dead with that main female. Okay, and what else is this? Oh, it was toil and labor. And he went through a, 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 an excruciating journey to get to you all, oh, little Tinker. Oh, okay. All right, you guys. All right, all oh, Tinkers. Little Tinkers. Little fucking Tink. You cute little fucking bastard, you. So fucking cute. You make me fucking want to vomit. <clears throat> oh, get the fuck out of here. Bitch, you act like we can't see this shit. We can see right through you. We don't care. We still don't want to engage with you. Nigga, you still left us with and went with a fucking karmic. So don't try to come back here and try to act like we the big fish in the sea and you trying to no, know, nigga, you still a hoe ass nigga. You still going as soon as this shit fizzle down and shit it ain't smelling like a brand new car no more. You going to be right the fuck up out the door trying to get some glorification and some gratification from somewhere else. Don't nobody got time for it, bitch. I don't give a fuck how much you done sat there and realized that you in love. That you really got peace. Peace and serenity with the divine feminine. You know that we the divine feminine. Now, nigga, we don't care. Okay? Okay? But you don't have a back to Jesus moment. Okay? Okay? So what? So the fuck what? You know why? Because we prayed for you. We asked God to help you. We know that you did. We prayed for you because we know that you were too stupid to pray for yourself. So... We were doing God's work, and we're glad that we can see that prayer did indeed work on you. How the fuck ever? Facts. We still don't give a fuck. So, huh, do not <laughs> come back 
and tell us well you can come back and tell us because it's entertaining i mean i don't know about y'all bitches i want to hear because i'm gonna sit there and laugh i'm gonna roll me a j and give me a cup of wine i'm gonna laugh like shit and i'm you know i'm gonna pray for him and give him a bundle of sage and i'm gonna be like oh i'm so sorry i'm please take this bundle of sage i need you to keep your energy cleansed at all times and i want you to peace be with you um brother peace be with you i hope look peace be with you brother I hope you can revive all the blessings in your life after all of this negative karma. I need you to cleanse your karma and your energy, sir. Let me show you. I'm going to do God's work after I listen to all this tea. <laughs> Bitch, because that's how I roll. <laughs> I'll still be your friend. I'm going to help lead you right on to Jesus because I prayed for you, brother. I don't love you anymore, okay? But I can't say that I'm still not a child of God that I cannot pray for someone who has hurt me and bring them on over to Jesus. So I'm glad that you ended that karmic shit because I heard about that. Sounds terrible. <laughs> Sounds fucking terrible. Okay? You realize that she really wasn't no main lady quality at all, huh? Oh, so you ended it, huh? 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 huh. Weekend pussy. Oh, keep a nigga, baby. Didn't you, bitch? Didn't you, bitch? Oh, okay. I'm reloading. Boom. You went through toil and labor. Huh? Huh? <laughs> you broke? You want to smoke? <laughs> you broke? You want to smoke? This ain't no joke. I shouldn't be joking about your life. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be a good friend. Then we say we was going to help Tank. Shit. Then we pray for him. Why we can't joke with you? Shit. We care enough that we pray for you. We brought you to Jesus. We, 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 you can't take a joke, Tank. Shit. We know that you had this excruciating, goddamn toil and labor, fucked up ass, goddamn journey. Okay? And this bitch done took all y'all. I know. I fucking know. You went through a lot of shit, okay, to realize that that one wasn't the one, and for that, that I, 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 look, I betcha, I know, I fucking know, tankers, but you little fucking stinkers, we don't care, the only thing we can do is handle you in the best way with love and delicacy that we can, and by telling you how to use a bundle of sage and keep your energy pure, Okay, I'm going to give you some purification spray. You see this beautiful little spray right here? I'm going to make you some purification spray. It's coming soon, bitch. And, um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Probably give you some frankincense somewhere. You need to smudge your house. Okay? You need to get your whole energy in line. And maybe blessings will come to you. And, um, that's to get your fuck, your, uh, fuck nigga hoe ass together life kit special. And that was free. So, I hope you wrote that down, um, Tink. Okay? So, we're going to leave you with your energy over here. And we're going to go back over here. Because, you know, we were going to Dick and Lodi in Wakanda. And you're fucking up our journey. Okay? So, yeah. Take care now. Bye-bye then. Back on over here, bitch. Okay? Can we, is there, can we just put a line? Can we just separate this? And I just... I just want to be clear. I just want to be clear. We gonna keep that over here. Okay, there we go. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Okay, can we go to Wakanda now? All right. Father God, can you tell me about all this blessed energy that we've been working towards in regards to all of this sexual healing that's about to come to us? Father, please tell us about the sexual healing. Please tell us, Father God, what can we expect in love for these new blessings, these new options where we're going to be confused and trying to figure out who to surrender all this beautiful, magical unicorn juice to? Who? Who, Father? Who, Father? Oh! I do not like the devil on my fucking table. Okay. Oh, okay. So they're saying that you releasing yourself from being bound to that twin flame shit. Bravo, ladies. Bravo. Bravo. I want to throw these cards on the floor. Because this twin flame shit is ridiculous. Alright? 
or I mean, listen, or we go, okay, you know, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I, I already thought you knew that. God said, don't do that. So, all right. He, he said, I already thought you knew that. I'm not. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Give respect to the card. Respect. You guys are releasing yourself. I feel like this, this right here, this, this right here, you guys are going to end up seeing y'all ex this June. And I feel like it's going to be the complete release. It's like over. Like you really took back your power. I feel like y'all ain't seen this person in a long time. And that conversation was needed. And that intention that we just gave Lil Taint. That he needed that attention. Because y'all needed to face each other. And this one needed to know that after everything that you done to me. I was still praying for you. To get your life together. And it just took me a long time to realize that I don't even want you no more. At first I was praying for you because I wanted you to realize how much of a blessing that I was to you. And wanting you to come back. But then, once I walked into my divinity, I realized that I was too precious to be bound to something like that. To somebody that never even fucking... Recognize my beauty and my worth all because I'm sitting up here glorifying some twin flame toxic ass brainwashing bullshit. You understand what I'm saying? So I had to release that shit. And I'm not saying that there is not a divine soul partner for you. There is. But I do feel like there's a fucking ant on my car. I do feel like that a lot of you guys were bound and y'all had to release yourself waiting and, and being bound to this whole twin flame shit. And once you guys took back your power from this shit and y'all stepped into y'all divinity, y'all opened up y'all <laughs> y'all open up the door to a brand new playing field because a lot of y'all were listen, a lot of y'all be kind of came obsessed with this twin flame shit. Like y'all became obsessed. Watching Twin Flame videos, dealing with toxic shit. I mean, you almost became the karmic. You know what I'm saying? Because if this motherfucker moved on with somebody else and you wishing him back, then you are the side. You are. You understand what I'm saying? And this shit almost took you down a negative path. And you guys have released yourself for that so that y'all could really bring in a true soul partner. Someone that God truly you know, gave to you. Because this shit, I feel like this shit was created by the one that this card is next to. This whole idea, this twin flame shit, I don't feel like that was created by God. I'm sorry. I don't know who wrote this shit. And I said it before, whoever wrote and came up with this twin flame, runner, chaser, rape, they need to be shot in their head and this person needs to be in jail. Because they have hurt a lot of people. And I don't think that they realized how many people that they brainwashed and they've hurt by this. But a lot of you guys have released this. And I'm going to switch this around and take this away and just say, uh, your true soul partner, your true soul partner, you released yourself being bound to that twin flame shit. You took back your power from that. That's truly what y'all did. That's truly what y'all did. What is this? Because it was blocking your fucking healing. That shit was blocking your healing. I kept telling, trying to tell y'all that shit. Yeah. That shit was blocking y'all healing and devoting yourself to that shit. It was. And right now, I feel like you guys are devoting yourself to yourself. Okay, that was just a lie. Okay. Because I feel like... Yeah. You guys put that whole shit on like a definite pause. You guys put that whole shit on a definite pause. I don't even think that y'all are bringing that thinking back into y'all life. Y'all not even bringing that thinking back into y'all life. Yeah, and y'all taking action. Y'all took action in the change. Stop thinking like that, you know? Y'all had to, like, be active in trying to stop that thinking and, and, and to redo that brainwashing to that. Yeah, looking in. The answer is yes. Yes, I'm telling the truth. I know. Answer is yes. And y'all, and yes, y'all are taking action. 
and I'm really sorry, like, and I, and I don't, and I'm not trying to offend whoever the creator is of that twin flame thing, but I really do feel like you need to be in jail. I really do. You need to be in jail. You hurt a lot of people. And I'm glad that you ladies are taking back your power. Because this person is a wicked person. And I really do feel like they just created that shit to keep y'all sick. That's just like um, someone that creates a cure to medicine. They're drug dealers. You understand what I'm saying? You're not really trying to sell me a cure. You're trying to sell me sickness. If you keep me sick, you'll always keep my money in your pockets. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> if I keep you constantly sick and wanting and needing and seeking answers, and I keep your money in my pocket. People that really care about you. Like I said, I run a fucking a heal and release clinic because I want you guys to heal yourself and get to this point right here where you are able to make choices and you say reds i found one i see you in the morning side because i don't even think i even resonate or i need this shit anymore and it allowed a new soul group a new group of people coming in that really need to get help to get the help because they're starting from the beginning y'all done graduated and like i told y'all we bought a lot of people about to graduate and I'm going to still be here helping a new group of people. And, and then they're going to graduate in a new group. And then they're going to graduate in a new group. You understand what I'm saying? This right here is the graduation. The answer is yes. You guys have took action. A change in y'all thinking. And cleansing. And fixing y'all paradigm. And what y'all attracting. The answer is yes. The answer is yes. What is it saying here? And now y'all know how to demonstrate patience. Now y'all know how to demonstrate patience, okay? Now y'all know how to wait for the right thing for your divine partner. But y'all not waiting in a sense. I'm just sitting back and no, 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 no. Y'all done turned in and y'all dealt with y'all demons and now y'all turned out. Because y'all done made changes. Y'all done going out. Y'all done experienced some fucking life. Enough where you got all of these people. Because can't nobody fight over you if they don't see you. You understand? What does it say? Y'all following the signs. I feel like whatever the hell y'all want to do, if y'all be sitting in the house and this, this commercial keep popping up for, um, what am I saying? Kickboxing. Like, yeah, kickboxing with someone fighting and kicking and shit. Like, I feel like some of y'all keep seeing like a kickboxing sign, kickboxing sign, kickboxing sign. And it's like, why the fuck do I keep seeing this shit? It was just like, shit, I don't even be doing nothing for real, for real, after work. And some of y'all done signed up for a kickboxing goddamn class. That's where y'all gonna meet that King of Wands. Because the King of Wands is action-oriented. He's athletic. Do you see what I'm saying? Y'all fuck around gonna meet the King of Wands at the gym or some shit like that. And it's like, because you follow the signs, because you just... You're not sitting around being patient and just waiting for someone to come to you. You're going out. You're being active. You're taking action. You're living your life. You understand what I'm saying? You're manifesting. You are coloring and painting and spilling so many paints and making your life so beautiful. That whoever come into it, your life is already so beautiful. Only thing they can do is add to the picture, not... You looking for them to be the picture. You see what I'm saying? Balancing the scales. Your ass is balanced. Come on, Libra. Libra. What it be, bruh? What it be, baby? Listen. Separation. Y'all balance the scales and know not to fear separation. You know, y'all could go in a new direction quickly and refocus. Do you understand what I'm saying? You guys... Or completely balanced and have balanced yourself to the point that you don't fear separation anymore. You feel freer going in a new direction and sitting up there suffering in something that is tearing your heart apart. I willingly walk naked, pure and abundant into a new direction and can refocus. I have no problem with moving forward. It's like, and, 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 that's, and that's like your new, it's like that's your new attitude. And that's why with these new guys that you're dealing with, this this person made a mistake one fucking time and you walked away from him. One motherfucking time and you walked away from him. I ain't even used this deck. Give me this deck here. Give me guidance in regards to my heart chakra balance for my divine feminines. 
Y'all, this is going to be a long video. I can see this right now because we don't have to deal with Tink. And you know why Tink showed up? It's because I stopped doing the fucking Devon masking in videos. So I knew his ass was going to show up. He's like, uh-uh, I shall be heard. <laughs> what, little Tinkers? You little stinkers? Well, you are part of the past, or you are part of what is going to occur. You about to be heard. You about to make yourself heard. So, at some point this June, don't be surprised. And y'all let me know. Y'all make sure y'all come back down to this video in this comments. And y'all let me know if y'all ex come back and let me know how y'all motherfucking got that ass together. That's why I cannot wait to get on motherfucking Patreon. Just wait till I get my Patreon set up, bitch. Excuse me, Simply Love. Healing begins. Embrace. Why is all of this in reverse? Flow. Why is all of this shit in the reverse? Oh no, we're gonna need some clarification on this, honey bunny. Cause I ain't even I don't even like this. It seems like okay. Let me look at this. Give me one second. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So what I'm getting is, is that it, when, when it comes to matters of the heart, I feel like before you guys would kind of like fall in love with people easy, and now I realize I can't just simply fall in love with just every motherfucking body that just come by and just give me comfort or, or whatever and they just my type or anything like that because at the end of the day it's like a harder journey for me for the healing to begin and for there to it's, it's just hard the healing part is hard you know what I'm saying so I can't just take a chance and just go out there and just simply love anybody. And I think that's why y'all are weighing your options right here in love. And y'all don't have any problem with separating and just... And, 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 and it's like you're not going with the first person that comes your way. You have four or five different people that you're talking to. And you only had sex with one of them. You can't embrace everybody. You cannot embrace everybody. You can't just simply fall in love. You can't just simply give your heart to everybody because it took a long time for the healing process to begin. And I say that because you have to let go for the healing process to begin. How can you heal if you ain't let go yet? You can't just, you can't, you can't. You understand what I'm saying? You got to understand the flow. You can't just go with the flow with every fucking thing. And I feel like with a lot of the situations that y'all were in, like y'all kind of just went with the flow and you guys just kind of embraced people based off of potential. And I feel like your heart was pure and you did just try to simply love this person. But at the same time, it took, it, you know, just embracing anybody and not really getting to know the true fabric and, you know, the concrete evidence of who this person really is. And should I be investing my time and just giving them my love like this? My pure, my precious love, my heart like that. Should I be giving these people my love like that? I went through long suffering and it took me a long time to let go for me to even let the healing begin. And for some of y'all, you know, that was a, a that was a long journey and I feel like that's why y'all not embracing people and know y'all not just going with the flow of motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are resting and, cons and, and and reconsidering what people are offering to you guys before y'all just go out there and just jump off the motherfucking cliff with motherfuckers. No, I'm not about to just jump off no motherfucking cliff. I'm about to rest and reconsider what the fuck y'all offering. I'm not just going with the flow with nothing. Hell no. No. <laughs> fuck y'all mean. No. Give me guidance for my um divine feminine. Just clarify this. Um, heart chakra spirit. Clarify. 
clinging to the past. Yeah. Letting go. Adventure. Suppression. Okay. All right. So there is, okay, so there is some ladies here. There is some ladies because it is saying this. It is saying this. It is saying this. Some of you guys are still clinging to the past. Y'all are still clinging to the past. And it's hard. It's still hard for y'all to let go. That's probably why y'all are not able to offer y'all love fully. Y'all are not able to offer y'all love fully. And maybe for some of the people, y'all have four different people waiting on you. But y'all turned around and looked back at something in the past. Because the four, um, the five of cups does represent someone mourning and feeling regret over something in the past. And you have five cups lined up. And it looks like this person might have came back being a bad little putty and knocked over the motherfucker cup. And you said, oh, no, bitch, you only got one time to sh this time to show me your ass. You understand what I'm saying? You look back at him and say, oh, to sorry for you, little tink tink. And you kept it pushing. You know what I'm saying? But that's because you was clinging to the past and you still wasn't really trying to let go like that. You really, really wasn't trying to let go like that. And I feel like right now. You realize you can't just simply love this motherfucker. This motherfucker is not going to change. And maybe for some of y'all, the healing hasn't really begun because y'all were still trying to embrace it. And you realize right now you can't embrace it. And you can't just like let this person flow in and flow out of your life. And maybe you are all resting and, and, and reconsidering just everything right now. You know what I'm saying? Because... I feel like y'all delayed y'all adventure to y'all going to motherfucking Dickelodeon and Wakanda because a lot of y'all was listening to that twin flame shit thinking that somebody was coming back. And like I told y'all, I told y'all the motherfuckers coming back. But like I said, why the fuck do you want them? Fuck y'all want somebody going to keep putting you through the same shit. Like I keep trying to tell y'all, y'all go and skip a run and y'all go hunt, 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 hunt. And y'all try to find the readers that's going to tell you what you want to hear instead of what you need to hear. Now, if I was to see that this motherfucker is coming back and it was all love and, and sugar spice and everything nice. And that fucking um, page of wands in the reverse wasn't there. And this motherfucker just coming back wanting attention and that privileged lady wasn't in the reverse and all that shit. If I didn't see that, I would tell you exactly what the fuck I see on the table. I would say, this motherfucker coming back, this nigga love you. Trust it. I would tell you, use your intuition because you know your person. So, because this is collective energy. But I would tell you the truth. Do you understand what I'm saying? I would tell you the truth. I want you guys. So Y'all just seen how happy I was when I seen all them. I, I would tell you the truth. I'm always going to tell you the truth. Some of you have not even got on the bus yet. Because y'all are still clinging to the past. And y'all are trying to suppress this shit. And act like, no, nah, I'm like, fuck this shit. I'm, I'm moving on. I ain't. No, you're not. No, you're not. I understand that we do all have free will. You understand what I'm saying? That's why Spirit is saying to rest and reconsider. Because I just told you, page of wine is in and out. This person has no intentions of being with you forever. None whatsoever. No good intentions. None. Absolutely none. Give me guidance. Give me guidance in love, in love. Oh, then we just did this. We just did this. Okay, tripping. We just did this. All right. Give me guidance for this group here. Give me guidance for my divine feminines in love and regards to these two guys. Okay. Forgive and learn. It says, once you forgive and learn, you'll be able to make an effort. And I feel like the decision on what a real good man is actually um, make more sense to you. I, I feel like some of y'all still can't really focus like that um, because of this energy from this person in the past. Some of y'all, I don't feel all of y'all. I don't feel all of y'all. Give me guidance for... Okay. So for, this, for that person, for the one still clinging to the past, 
Give me guidance. For the ones still clinging to the past, give them guidance. Give me guidance for the ones still clinging to the past. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Saying poverty. 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 Then expectations in the in the in the reverse. It's like you're gonna be sitting around expecting and waiting and waiting for something that you never gonna get. And I feel like you're gonna let your whole fucking life pass you by and all your fortune and all the wealth of and the beauty of everything that your life could be is just gonna be darkness. And just dilapidated darkness and pain. Just someone sitting in the window forever waiting for someone to bring them great fortune that never comes. Like, it's never going to come. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you guys have to stop clinging to this shit. Realize that this motherfucker ain't shit. It's a tension whore. He's a whore. And when I see shit like that, I think of disease. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't want someone that they hand their whole dick to the universe looking for attention. They will give their dick to anyone that will give them attention. Why do you want to subject your body to that? Do you understand what I'm saying? Why are you suppressing the beauty and the happiness that could be your life? Because you don't want to forgive and learn this person, just like I said earlier, I know me, I, through my healing, I was able to say, you know what, I know I'm not healed until I could be able to say, you know what, I'm to the point where I could pray for this person, I could forgive for this person, I could pray for this person, I hope that they find healing and move on. You know what I'm saying? How the fuck can I attract new love if I'm not forgiving this person, I'm still holding a grudge? Fuck that shit. I forgive you. Thank you because you pushed me to my divinity. I thank you. Let me move on so I can actually take action. You're not going to make action. You're not going to take action until you can forgive and move this, move on from this person. And if you don't, you're going to stay in a poverty pit of sorrow. When you'll be expecting someone to come and give you this fortune that never comes. And you're going to end up growing up an old cat lady that ends up with no life, no man, no nothing. I Listen, and I'm not trying to, whoever this is, and, and if this is you, I'm not trying to shade you by no means. And I'm not trying to be disrespectful. But there was a comment in one of my videos where it is someone, where these people have been in separation for damn near 10 years. And they are still in tarot readings, watching tarot readings. Over someone that they have been in separation with over damn near 10 years. Do you want that to be you? It's like you and you, you, it, it was, it's, it's like someone that is willfully and just willingly like sucking all of the love out of their life while you're watching someone else move on with their life and live their life and you're just sitting back watching them in hope and wishing and dream god is not going to give you that you have to take your power back or you're going to watch your whole life pass you by and you want to be sitting there looking out the window for the rest of your life look dove please find your peace find your peace with it and set it free find your peace with that shit and set it free and then let's give you one last card for that group, and then we gonna go to the to my uh, last group, and then we up out of here because I know this video damn near about to be two hours, child. Breaking up in these different groups. Give me guidance for um, the ones that need to release, the ones that are still clinging to the past. Yeah. 
you need to be more stingy with yourself and your energy and realize that everything that you have is precious with these four coins, these four pinnacles. Do you understand what I'm saying? Everything that you have is precious and everything is valuable and everything is not to be given to everybody, especially from people in the past that didn't appreciate it when they had it. Continue to hold yourself back. Continue to realize that you are a top commodity. And the, and the other uh, thing, do you see these people are on their knees begging for your pinnacle? Begging. Pay attention to the ones that are begging and the ones that want to be there. You get me? Alright. So, new group. And we about, okay? Because I'm sorry, when I be seeing change and flip floppy, flip floppy energy, I be like, well, hold on now. Let's, let's address this and let's get back because I'm going, I want to get back on the bus to go to Wakanda. We keep taking these pit stops and stopping that Wawa and shit, getting hoagies and motherfucking slurpees and shit. Ain't nobody talking to people on Wawa about they little why they ain't hop on the bus or going on their adventure. Look, if you don't want to go on an adventure, I'm going to leave you at Wawa, girl. I hope you enjoy your slushy. I'm about to make me a blue and red icy and I'm out, okay? What does it say? Look, we're giving our relationship a chance. Listen, we just stopped here to get us an icy and we getting the fuck up out of here. We got some place to go. We got some place to go. Give me guidance, please, for my ladies that's on the bus going to Dick Elodian and Wakanda. Thank you. Who in the fuck did I hear that from, bruh? Where in the fuck did I hear Dick Elodian, y'all? I feel like I heard it from someone on YouTube, too. If y'all know who, where I heard that from, can y'all please shout that person out? Because I cannot think about where I heard that from. I know I didn't make that up. I heard that from somewhere. Anyway, ooh, give your relationship a chance. Because true love is on the way. It's on the plane. Okay. Oh, because you called in your soulmate. I told, I told, I told, I told, I, I told y'all. And y'all finances and career going up. I told y'all. Didn't I tell y'all? I told y'all. I told you so. All of that hoping and praying and wishing, all that shit that you did from the back, from way back in the May back, all of them, all of them things are coming into fruition right now. They coming into fruition right now. Yes, they means. Yes, they means. Give them guidance. Give them guidance. Thank you. Thank you very much. Give us guidance about this emperor in this king of. Wands. Yes, sir. Give us guidance about this emperor and this king of wands. Ooh. Release your dominance. I feel like don't try to come off like you too. Like you trying to be in control. Because you got to understand with the king and the wands. With the king of wands and the emperor. You can't come off like you trying to be the boss with them. They are men. You understand what I'm saying? I feel like this little tink tink in the past, that wasn't a man. Like, these are men. You got to let a man be a man. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, please don't be coming off aggressive. Be a lady. Don't let your past... You are not your past. You understand what I'm saying? Don't let that shit from your past harden you. And that's why I'm trying to tell y'all. One shot. Ooh. 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 Ooh, you are indestructible. Hold on, but wait. But wait. Wait. So, number one, first thing I seen here was loyalty. Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. These ones are loyal, and I feel like these ones, you ain't got the. They don't have to know that song that Ugly Duckly grew up to be a swan. Like, they already know. They already know that you were swan. They coming to you being loyal off the break. I don't feel like you have to force them. For them to prove their loyalty. They're going to do it on their own. Just chill out and be a lady. Like seriously. Like don't even. I, I don't even want to say don't speak unless spoken to. But I kind of do want to say that. Because I feel like you want to talk too much. And you want to tell these people too much about your shit and your past. That's why I'm trying to tell y'all. If y'all come into this situation with these new people. And y'all still holding that baggage with the ocean. Y'all going to fuck this shit up. And don't say I didn't tell you so. Because you can't go into this shit thinking that 
And I realized that this indestructible car is in the reverse. You can't go in this motherfucker thinking that you so hard and you indestructible and motherfuckers won't break you down. They will break you down. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you come at that emperor all hard and dominating and shit like that, they going to check you and they going to get you together. They going to be like, what the fuck you think you the man? Like you trying to be the man in this relationship or something? Fuck type of like what type of niggas you used to deal with? And they gonna check you and they gonna be like, what the fuck you used to deal with? Look, I could tell you used to deal with bitch motherfucker. They gonna check you and you gonna get your feelings gathered the fuck up. I told you we collect the gatherings around here. You understand what I'm saying? God is sending you another collector. I told you God made this one for you, your divine partner. This one is just like you. You know how people say, um, I want someone to love me. Just like how I love, how I love. And this is him. So if someone was coming at you like that, you would have did the same thing. You would have said the same thing. And you would have got smart out the mouth too. You understand what I'm saying? I believe the emperor, that Aries, right? You already know. <laughs> you already know. And you're not indestructible. They can break you down. And they are coming to you to the table being low. Don't force it. Don't. Like, just let them be them. This relationship is going to be a lot of red, okay? It's going to be a lot of passion. There's going to be anger, but there's going to be courage, and there's going to be strength. And I say anger in the sense that this motherfucker is going to test you. It's, it's going to test you. You understand what I'm saying? Because this time, you're not going to have no support from God and everything because this is the true test. To see if you are really, if you are really going to go for the fine wine. Are you going to drink Boone's Farm? You understand what I'm saying? Are you going to go for the fine wine or are you going to drink Boone's Farm? You understand what I'm saying? And I feel like it's going to anger you because... You gonna be looking towards spirit, your spirit guide and your intuition, and normally they will answer your call and you would hear them and you would get a sign and you ain't gonna get nothing. You're not gonna get nothing and you're gonna be like, what the fuck is going on? Someone put a curse on me, someone listening to that dumb ass bullshit, my brother. Someone cursed my energy. Ain't nobody curse your fucking energy. God is trying to see what the fuck you learn. Now you wanted a man, you wanted options, I'm giving them to you. So let me see how you know how to act. Do you know how to act like a lady and chill out and let these men be a man? Alright? And look, it just says some of y'all got some chills of confirmation. Did what I just say give you chills? I hope it did. Because I feel like a lot of you guys, the reason why a lot of you guys are single right now is not even that y'all don't have four or five different dudes um, coming to talk to y'all. Y'all scare them off. Because y'all be being too aggressive. Why are you loyal? And what do you do? And when you're, and do you bring a girl flowers? And do you do this? And how, and why did you break up with you? And why, just chill the fuck out. Don't know, like, what the fuck? Chill out, you yeah? know? Chill out. Let a man be a man. Let the man lead the car. Let, let him do it. Just sit back and be a beautiful, dainty woman. Let him pull all of that information out of you. You just sit back and chill and be a mystery. Don't be boring. You understand what I'm saying? I'm just saying just don't blur out all your business. You understand what I'm saying? Don't pull your heart out. Make him pull your heart out. Do y'all see what I'm saying? Make him work for it. And I feel like that's where we fucked up with a lot of these other dudes. We, 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 we ain't make them work for it. We ain't make them work for it. Make these motherfuckers work because they going to show you. I'm trying to tell you, the king of wands and the emperor, they are action oriented. They have no fucking problem with showing you what they about if they about you. It's no question. There's no question. There's no fucking question in your heart, in your mind about it. Release that shit and everything gonna come to you. What does it say? Your inner child is gonna be exposed. You, I'm trying to tell you, it's gonna be a playful, it's gonna be a joyful experience. Listen, you gonna have a key where you can come to your conclusion on your own. You don't need spirit. Listen, cause you ain't a victim of that shit no more. Cause you don't release that shit. You don't let it go. What does it say? And you bought your soulmate. And thank you. That's the fucking card I wanted to see. Fuck that twin flame shit. I told y'all, y'all bringing in your truth. This one is bending on his fucking knee. Ain't no mother. Look, even look at this card. Look at this fucking card. It's a heart with flaming fire and shit all over. I don't want 
to be burnt to hell, uh, 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 flaming. No, 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 no. I don't want that shit. I don't want that shit. I want this one bending down on his knee. My true love so much. Now that you look at the fucking cards, don't the twin flame card look like some karmic shit? Which card look karmic to you? Which one look like it's made from hell and which one look like it's heaven sent? Can y'all type it in the comments? Which one looks like it's made from hell, but hell equals and then God equals? Y'all tell me right now, which one looks like it was made from fucking hell? And which one look like it's an otter from God? Let me give y'all a second. Which one of these cards did y'all have to release yourself from being the victim of? The soulmate card? Where the person is bending down on their knee, proposing marriage, professing love, or this one? The one that looks like lust. Just an observation. Like I said, I just want y'all to come to y'all own conclusions about what y'all chasing. Hmm. Huh. 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 Um, let me give y'all some last words and then we about to get the fuck on out of here. Yes, we is. One last spread for my ladies that is taking their time. They power back. Because this spread has been a motherfucker. And I'm trying to tell you, I know that this was long, but I felt like y'all needed to hear every word of this. Y'all needed to hear every fucking word of this shit. Y'all really did. And I want y'all to know that I love y'all and I give y'all all my energy and all my time. And I sit here for hours and hours, hours and months in. Because as long as I know that I'm helping y'all truly use your divinity, learning how to use your empress and your divinity and your divine power within you to call in your true soulmate and to call in options where you can choose. And people are on their begging me, trying to give you their pinnacle. You ain't waiting for no pinnacle. They giving that shit to you off back and hoping that you'll give them yours. And yours is sitting on top of your head. You like, um... I gotta think about this shit. I'm being stingy. I'm holding myself back. I don't know what the fuck I'm about to do. You understand what I'm saying? Listen. This one here. Like I said. This one here. Has put on a show. Has unfortunately. Put on a show. And has been paraded around for the whole world to see. Them juggling all of the drama that's going on in their life. For far too long. And that. Those days is over. We're releasing that shit. If you want to see me do anything. You want to see me being happy. You want to see me. You want to see me soaring in my truth. With that brief new beginnings. You want to see me honoring myself. You want to see me fighting. <laughs> you want to see me fighting. You understand? I know it's a cold world, and I know a lot of times that the world is going to give you a lot of harsh truths, but I'm still soaring like a fucking eagle, and I still got that reef. I will be crowned. I will be victorious. Do you understand what I'm saying? It don't matter how rough and cold. It don't matter how many lies they try to spread, how many rumors, the gossip, how much mean, slanderous things they say about me, how many. It don't care. It don't matter. I soar and I rise above it all. Above it all. I don't care. Listen, I don't care who's seen. I don't care who's seen it. Guess what else you're going to see me? You're going to see me rise above it all and be crowned the victor. So I want everyone to be clear about that. Everyone to be clear about that. Don't you put your head down in sorrow about nothing that you experience. The little tinker, the little stinker. Who cares? It brought you to your divinity. You wouldn't have it without it. Be proud of your survival. Be proud of your truth. Be proud of your story. Because you're going to be able to tell your story to someone else. And that's going to help them lead them to their divinity. So who cares who's seeing you being juggled or what you had to juggle or what you had to sit down Guess what? I sat it down. You seen my struggle and you seen my triumph. 
Let your story be the testimony to show people that true love is there if you want it. The magic and the power is within you. You got to release and take back your power. All right? Ladies, this has been your reading. And then right off of the top, there go that eagle again. And that eight of swords. Someone feeling like they're in a mental prison. You're really not as tied up and bound and locked in to this situation as you think you are. Soar above it. All right? And I'm just hearing that song. Bound. Falling in love. Ha! Kid a motherfucker Kanye. Bound. Bitch, I'll meet y'all in Wakanda. I'll see you.